guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an ILS approach into Denver in the Mag 9787 INL. So let's get onto it. I'm going to show you how to do it, a full tutorial, um, and then a kind of landing tutorial at the end. So stick around for that. So we are currently on approach to ILS runway 26, going to Denver International Airport. Um, and direct to fuzz Let's see how we do now so first things first once you've sorted out VNAV and LNAV and everything like that um, we should be on VNAV it should be descending us now we should descend from our profile so at the moment we should be at 7000 that's fine take out a few minutes so I'm going to go here to AviTab, if you haven't done this already, go to Settings, Second Page, AviTab, make sure I update the plane first. Um, and then just simply type in, you know, I have to use AviTab. Type in the airport, you would get the weather information, it's not working for some reason. And we're just going to scroll down to the one we want, which is runway 26, cat 1. Just type in this frequency and course on this page of currently the default FMS. It will be the same on the custom one. So just put it into nav1, nav2, and then the course is nav, uh, cruise one, course one, and course two. That should all be good. It should be turned down the settings here slightly. Yeah, it should be fine. So we've done, assuming that you've done your performance calculation, put in Denver and select all the options here. Flaps usually land on flap 25 to make sure it's not floaty. There's the call out, which we're on VNAV. So we're just turning final here. So all we do is we're a bit low actually. So it's going to take a little while for the approach to get in. You just simply press the approach button there and it will follow the profile. So these these units here, they were, we are a bit low. Uh, we need to get some flaps out, hold on. Yeah, I'm doing this very last minute. We are quite low here. So we're just gonna wait for the profile to come in here. We're just gonna hold 7,000. Bring speed right back. So once you've set the auto brake and everything, I'm just going to go flat five. These speeds are currently wrong. I'm going to change it. Flat ten. And he's landing in. This is a bit of a ter terrible tutorial already, but there we are, um, coming in. So right down. 148, it was. And so we, we just, I'm not, this is not an approach tutorial, this is how to do an ILS. So once you've pressed the approach, assuming that you've set the frequencies up correctly, it's fine. Nothing to see here. Uh, flap 25, uh, this is not an approach tutorial. Do not follow this. Um, <laughs> anyway, once you've pressed the approach button, these things will come in at uh, the vertical and lateral guidance. Well, like with QNH, and here we are following. Yeah, I should have done that earlier. Realism. Not concentrating at all. And do the checklist. It's all fine. Landing announcement. Crew, please take your seats for landing. Normal. And landing checklist. Speed break it on. Landing checklist completed. And so that's. I hope that's very simple. We're following the, uh, the land, the VREF plus five. And just set it up there. All you have to do, set the frequency, press the approach button, and it will follow it, assuming that you're on LNAV and VNAV correctly. So it is it is very simple. Um, but I hope that answers all Approaching your questions. Approaching two, six. If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below. Let's land this aeroplane. It's going to be automatic. Four 
slightly correct and it, it, it will be off center. It's just an issue. Just correcting. 200. Oh, we're high, sorry. Two reds, two whites, and just following the guidance on the PFD. 50, 40, Blair 30, eight. 20, 10. Retard. Oh. Uh, don't mind my landings. 10. And reverses. And reverses green and decel. Reverses uh, normal, I should say. Oh. And we're to break. 80 knots. Yeah, in, in real life, th these would not disarm, so that's something I can have got to fix. Stay the reverses, and we'll take the one on the left. Very nice. And we'll just come to a stop here. No lights can come off now. Strobes lights can come off. And parking rake on set here. Two rakes up and flaps up. And this one it comes to out of. Turn off TR and then get, we'll get the flaps up. And so I hope that answers all your questions. And that was a bit of rubbish demonstration, but it did the job. I hope you all followed it correctly. All it is is simply setting the courses and frequencies in the FMS and then just pressing approach once once you're there basically on and the ND will give you all the guidance so if you did like the video please give us a like and subscribe for more content see you next time